hear a voice. I squint and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver, his skin is pale, and he stares up at me with hard, glassy eyes. Soon his lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't. I can't. I can't. I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. I watch his face, expressionless, as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? Wait, it's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with S. Then there's an E. I can almost see it now. The letters beginning to fall together, one after the other, faster and faster. Sealed verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I'm looking for, the key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with renewed ferocity, trying desperately to make out his next word. Dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? But let's move again faster now. I can't follow them. Damn it. I can't make it out. I want to scream. I want to tear the walls down around me. But instead, I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it for Yona. Slowly, ever so slowly, I parse out the letters that make up his final words. Forest of Myth. next morning. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Oh. <laughs> morning. M morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up, because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. Uh... It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm going to study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime too. Sure, Yona. Uh... Did somebody order a watermelon? Yay! You're the best. Anything else you need? Actually, I need a pumpkin. All right then. One pumpkin coming right up. I believe I have pumpkins. I got your pumpkin, Yona. Thanks. You've sure been eating a lot lately. Oh, I'm not eating, ma'am. You're not? Cooking. Ta-da! Here you go. I made it all by myself. Watermelon and pumpkin? Is this a cake? Yep. Popola taught me how to bake one. I made it for you in secret. Wow, Yona, this is, um, well, it's a surprise for sure. Come on, try it, try it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Yay, you're always super busy, so I wanted to make you something to help keep up your strength. That's really sweet of you, Yona. Thank you. Can Popola not cook, or is Yona just so bad even with an instructor? Sure. Actually, I made like seven cakes, so there's tons of leftovers. <sighs> the life of an elder sibling continues to be a trying experience. You're telling me. Yona's gift is complete. Alright. Glad I got the watermelon while I was there. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, I need to go ask Popola something. Why well, you guys have the same dream about a boy that sounds a lot like me. But isn't me, I guess, because Yona didn't think it was me. Like, if it was just me who didn't recognize me, that's believable. 
But, like, Yona not recognizing me? Nah. Apparently, Kaede reminds Yona of Mom. That's rough. Hmm. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing hopes of bringing your attention to a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be able to dream, bite, might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently there have been dream reports, dream dream of certain dream 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 dream, um, of evil, empty, curse, evil, words, and someone, yeah. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. She's not gonna question why I even came in here originally? Dream, 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 dream. Kick your butt. Dream, 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 dream. Alright, uh, let's check out, see if there are any new side quests. Then we can move on to the Forest of Myth. It does not appear there's anything new. Honestly, that's probably one of my favorite things about this game. You don't have to go searching everywhere for side quests. If you see that mark, a little bit, you know, a little mark on the map right there, you know there's something new. Otherwise, just complete what you have. last experience here and where they wouldn't even talk to me. in my mind. It is not quizzical. Uh, what? <laughs> voice is vi your voice's voice was in a quizzical way. Well, what's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. Mayor stared at Blue and Vice. You can speak to me. I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream has spread across the force of men. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the Death Dream had spread from person to person by spoken words. But before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Vice stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here. 
Are there. you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. Said the mayor. I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Blue's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Ridiculous! Preposterous! Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level! I don't even recall falling asleep! That's just how the death dream works! Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool! The mayor twists his mouth in an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Blue had seen, and what they discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Blue and Vice racked their brains but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too many random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. The mere suggestion that Vice chose his words carelessly seemed to sting, sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. Irritated, Vice looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to blue like a contagion. Say, just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, the village told us to watch out for contagious words, right? Mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing his startled vice aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was something about dreaming or something that dreams or. What the hell was it? A sheep? cried vice. What? To this head? So it's a spelling error? This is getting more and more ridiculous! The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Boo's face suddenly lit up. I remember! Those who dream, that's what he said, I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheath, sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval of Boo. That sounds right. My notes also mention something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. I should probably be taking notes or something. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, but perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. I've tried to escape. In the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there's an exit, I'd know about it. My village is beautiful. And it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took, disease took hold, things changed. It's like somebody took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just wanted to be whole again. I want us to be free. I want to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Huh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, just ask. Hold on, I did not just say that. Silence. Grimoire Vice's face is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, Mary, you told us that nothing can exist in this dream without you knowing of it. But yet, you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? Oh my god, you're right, you're right, I had no idea you were coming! The human imagination is a limit, limitless engine. And dreams are the fuel. If you can find, imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Payment is not required. We are able to do so as done with this place. Easy, eager as you to be done with this place. Okay. Good luck, you two. We're all counting on you. I saw this man once before, but where? Uh, who 
What kind of fucking... What? This game is so weird! One, what it was lacking. Two, with it is ideal. Three, with it is dangerous. What is it? A two person bicycle. the vice left of the task. It's a secret, right? What is this game? I... Why is this part of the game a book? through the window but break no glass when night falls I vanish what am I light confused by this. This is just very... I'm reading a book. This one's classic. I saw a version of you that was not yourself. It would make sense the time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now you must go to the person at the forest entrance.
think we made it. This has been an experience. Thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Dark execution magic. Oh, it's the spike one, yeah. For a sealed verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. I mean... He should? This person must be dreaming too. It would appear that way, yes. Can't right, say I'm very them. excited to go back there. That dream world sort of creeps me out. Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Yeah, yeah. 